Hello there. Just wanted to go over some points and a lot of people when they're considering a long distance move, they look at options such as renting a truck, loading it, unloading it themselves, driving it themselves and such. So the question is, is it actually cheaper to do a move by yourself or is it cheaper to hire movers? Now, it's going to depend on many different things, but overall, of course, you're going to save a bit by doing it yourself in terms of renting your own truck. But you're really not saving much. And the things that you have to consider are, of course, not just the rental costs of the vehicle that you're moving with, but you have to look at the mileage charges if they're not included, or if they are, of course, your rental cost is going to be higher because it's including that. It's not free for the mileage. Your fuel costs. Now, you want to look at the truck you're renting. You may be renting a truck that's at a cheaper rate, but if it's running on gasoline instead of diesel, for example, the fuel costs can actually add up substantially different in terms of what your cost is at the final point of the move. Some other things you want to look at are the delivery of containers. So you can have the freedom of loading them at your own speed, uh, but A, they're not going to be loaded professionally. B, if you end up having to hire movers to actually load the shipping containers or the boxes for you, then that adds up as well. You can actually, for example, a small container on a three bedroom house, you're gonna on average need at least four of the, an example, U boxes from U-Haul. Now, when you factor in the loading and unloading of those containers, the delivery from not only say, for example, Vancouver to Kelowna, but also looking at the delivery from the delivery point, uh, so the U-Haul location, to your new home and then having them returned, uh, the prices can add up actually quite quickly. And this is where you look at the initial outlay of funds on a rental truck, for example, but you're not factoring in the insurance, you're not factoring in the fuel, you're not factoring in the risk, of course, because if you have professional movers, uh, then of course they're driving the vehicle on your behalf. So they're not, uh, they're driving their vehicle, of course, the five ton truck, seven ton tractor trailer, whatever it is. So these are all things to consider. So you can actually save money by hiring movers to take care of it for you. Now, other things to consider, of course, are road conditions. Now, during the winter, when you're going, say, for example, Vancouver to Calgary, you're going to be contending with treacherous, at times, uh, weather mountain, or sorry, mountain weather conditions. So the risk is there as well, whereas if you hire movers, the drivers are very experienced and in most cases uh, well-trained to handle the weather situations. And you're also looking at costs of hotels and so forth. Whereas with, uh, with a reputable and proper moving company, for example, carry movers out of Vancouver, you're going to be given a guaranteed rate based on the truck size. Whether you're just moving a small one bedroom apartment or you're moving a four bedroom house, it's going to vary on what size of truck you need and the loading time, all of that. But you're given one rate and that is guaranteed. And one thing you want to make sure you avoid are the moving companies that are charging you by the pound. Now, I hate to say it, but there are companies out there that will uh, inflate the weight of your load or your shipment in order to increase the cost to you. Now, reputable companies, as I said, for example, carry movers is going to guarantee your rate. This is what you're quoted. This is what you pay. This is when your items will be picked up. This is when they'll be delivered. And the insurance, the fuel, everything's all included in that price. So you know up front what your costs are going to be. If you're going with a company that's going to charge you by the weight, then again, you want to be very careful of that because the, the price can change and whether or not it's the actual weight. 
these are things to consider. Now, something else you want to think about is that when you hire the professional movers, you are getting people who know how to load the truck properly. The weight is not going to shift. You're not going to have fragiles in precarious positions or get damaged. And if you do, then you're probably insured for that. Uh, that's something that you want to consider as well, because one broken TV on a uh, self done move can actually end up adding to the price of your move and pushing it over what you would have paid for full service and not had to worry about damages or highway condition, all that stressful stuff. Um, another thing you want to look at are whether or not containers are the right, uh, the right way to go. Now, A, when you're loading a container, if they're not loaded properly, then you risk damage, of course. You're going to be either A, loading them yourself, or in most cases, people hire movers to come in and load the containers. They get shipped across country or across the province, whatever the case is. Now, there are times when that is convenient because if you require storage in the interim, if you require uh, time, so you don't want to have everything in the house, you're doing renovations, all of that. Uh, so there are times when you want to look at uh, options. But again, if you uh, were to hire a full service moving company with a truck, then they can always put it into storage for you and you can have a local service provider bring it into the house when you're ready. So you do have options there. So these are things that you want to look at. Now, when you also look at self-service so for example renting a truck you want to make sure that you have enough ratchets tie downs ropes whatever it is you want to have blankets padding uh, shrink wrap all of the things that are going to make sure that your items make it from point a to point b safely uh, you know any reputable moving company is going to have that on their trucks and uh, they're going to take extra care especially when it's long haul or long distance move they also want to make sure that all of your items get there in one piece and that you're satisfied so you'll refer more customers. And that's, you know, unfortunately not the case with all moving companies, but for the most part, that's the situation. Something else to consider that when you are moving, you want to think about whether or not to go with a large shipping company say, you know, a shared 18 uh, wheel truck that is doing a long haul. A, you have, uh, if you have flexibility on your schedule, then that's great. But something else to keep in mind is that if you're buying space on that trailer, uh, tractor trailers and, and uh, mixed shipments, do you know whether or not the items are being cross docked? So taken from one truck to another to another at different points throughout the process. Uh, you also have to consider whether or not uh, the people whose items are on your truck at the shared load, whether or not they have, uh, you know, bed bugs, whether or not they have mice in their in their furniture, whether or not they have, you know, the dogs have fleas and that's all in the furniture. Now you risk having all of that cross contaminate with your goods. So that's something else to consider when you're looking at the overall uh, picture with the move. Again, when you go with certain moving companies, the option can be to have what they call a designated fleet. Now, for example, again, I'll go back to carry movers here. And that means that your goods are picked up in one truck. They stay on that truck. They are transported in that truck, they are unloaded from that truck, and your goods are the only ones that are in that truck. So in between shipments, the truck is inspected, cleaned, and uh, maintained. So this way you don't have to worry about cross-contamination from other customers' goods. So those are some things to think about with the long-haul move. If you are looking at moving locally or long distance in Western Canada, uh, for local moves in the Metro Vancouver, Howe Sound, Fraser Valley, or if you're looking at a long distance move, then give Carry Movers a call at 604-687-1746 or go to the website www.carrymovers.com, that's K-A-R-Y movers.com, and you can uh, request an online quote there. Take care everyone, safe moving, safe journeys, all the best.